In this module, you will learn about the rights of consumers in India. Largely due to the efforts of the consumer movement and government legislation, consumers have certain rights that they can exercise. Consumer rights include the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, the right to seek redress, and the right to represent in consumer courts. When producers sell any goods or services, it is their responsibility to ensure their safety for the consumer. It is the right of the consumer to be offered only products that are safe. In case of any damage, the producer should compensate the consumer. Public and or government intervention may also be required to ensure that producers maintain the required quality and adhere to safety regulations. Another right is the right of consumers to be informed about the goods and services that they buy. Producers must always provide and the consumers should always look for details on packed commodities which include price, ingredients, batch number, expiry dates, and manufacturer's address. Certain medicinal drugs need to be handled with care. Their packing must have directions about usage printed on them. Any side effects or risk to potential users must also be mentioned. Hence, consumers have the right to be informed about the goods and services that they purchase. In case of any misleading information, they can initiate action against shopkeepers who sell expired foodstuff or medicines, demand that goods be sold within the maximum retail price or MRP mentioned on the label, and so on. The right to be informed got a boost from the Right to Information Act or RTI which was passed by the Parliament in 2005. It gives citizens the right to know about the functioning of any government department. All consumers also possess the right to select or choose any product that they wish to buy. They have the right to continue and terminate any service. In case of a midterm termination, they have the right to be refunded the remaining amount of charges. Similarly, sellers cannot force consumers to buy any product that they do not wish to purchase. The next right concerns customers' right to redress or remedy any grievances against unfair trade practices and exploitation. In case the sellers of services or products dupe the customers, the customers have the right to seek redress and demand compensation for the wrong done to them. While seeking any redress, the consumers have the right to represent in consumer courts. In case they require any help, there are numerous consumer forums and councils. These voluntary bodies can either help consumers to file the case or to fight the case for them in consumer courts. The government provides financial support to the forums and consumer protection councils as they help to create and spread awareness among consumers. Resident welfare associations also guide their members about how to file cases in consumer courts. In 1986, the government passed the Consumer Protection Act, or COPRA, which ensures that consumers have the right to represent in consumer courts. COPRA establishes a three-tier quasi-judicial consumer court structure, as shown. Consumers can progress from the district level to the state 
and then the national court in case they are not satisfied with the verdict of the lower court. In this manner, consumers can avail themselves of a number of rights to protect their interests. However, they need to be aware of these rights and be well informed. In this module, you learned that consumer rights include the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, the right to seek redress, and the right to represent in consumer courts. Under the right to safety, a consumer has the right to buy only safe products. In case of any malfunctioning, the producer must compensate the consumer. Consumers have the right to be informed about the goods and services that they buy, including price, batch number, ingredients, expiry date, and manufacturer's address. Medicines must have directions of usage and any possible side effects printed on the packaging. In case any false or misleading information is provided, consumers can take the producer to the consumer court. The Right to Information or RTI Act of 2005 gives citizens the right to know about the functioning of any government department. Consumers have the right to choose the goods or services that they want to avail. Consumers possess the right to seek redress and to demand compensation. While seeking redress, consumers have the right to represent in consumer courts. In this representation, they can seek the help of consumer forums or councils as well as residents' welfare associations. The Consumer Protection Act or COPRA of 1986 ensures that consumers have the right to represent in consumer courts. Consumer courts have a three-tier structure. They are at district level, state level and national level.